YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tips here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I transformed this Sofago music video clip into this. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so we have the clip here. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to click on it, press Control D to duplicate it, and then we are going to double click and get right into rotoscoping. If you guys do not know how to rotoscope, there's a video on my channel. I'll have it linked in the description below. And once you have Sofago rotoscoped, we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to go back into the composition and then we're going to click on the bottom layer here. What we're going to do to the bottom layer is we're going to add some heat wave and we're going to drag that onto the bottom layer there. We're going to turn up the blur amount to max and the heat intensity to max. As you can see, it is just warping the background there. The next step you guys want to do is you want to click on the roto brush layer and you want to search pixel sorter. If you guys don't have AE pixel sorter, it is a great plugin. You can find it over at AE scripts. I highly recommend you guys grab it. This is the pixel sorter too. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be dragging the angle downwards at 180 degrees we're going to be keyframing the threshold and then keyframing the zoom and then we're going to change the effect to shadows so as you can see you already have the effect there but we're going to play with it a little bit more so we're going to bring it down to nothing and then we're going to go to the very end of the clip here and then we are going to drag it to what we think is best so i think that looks pretty good there we'll play that out for you guys keyframe the zoom so the zoom is going to be at 100 we're going to go to the very end and we are going to bring that down a little bit just so it zooms in on his face all right guys so the next step is you want to go and you want to add uni heat wave onto the top layer which is rotoscope and it's totally up to you guys on what you want to do with it i recommend uh starting the heat intensity at zero blur amount at zero and full speed at zero uh maybe actually turn the flow speed up a little bit i'm gonna hit you on my keyboard to bring up the actual keyframes we are going to go to about here i think for when the pixel sorter starts the heat intensity we're going to add another keyframe and then we're going to go to the very end and we're going to bring it up to 100 same for the blur amount all right i think that looks great and then to tie the effect in all together i have a matrix numbers overlay linked in the description below on my website for free on my website i also have tons of editing packs that are quick and easy for you guys to use so if you guys are looking for some new effects to use on your projects i highly recommend checking them out while you're over at my website so we're going to drag that into the composition now all right, and once that is in there, you're going to find out where it starts. So I'm just going to go along. You can see the code starts there. So I'm going to drag it there, drag it to the beginning, and then we're going to put it below the rotoscope layer. And then we are going to be changing the mode to screen. It looks cool, but there's not a lot of motion on it. So I'm just going to add some effects to it. I recommend going to scale. Let's just go here, turn that up there to about there, and then rotation as well, just to kind of match the rotation of his head here. And then we're going to go to the very end and turn the scale way up so it zooms in. And I'll play that for you guys. All right, and then just to add some more character, we're going to add Sapphire Shake. Let's turn the amplitude to one. We're going to add Flicker for about eight. See how that looks. All right, I like how that looks there. And then let's add our favorite effect that we've used a shit ton in this video, Uni Heat Wave. Let's drag that on. I think a Uni Heat Wave is a very versatile effect. Uh, we're just going to drag the heat intensity all the way up and then the flow speed all the way up. All right, guys, and that is the effect. If you want to go download the project file, it will be linked below on my website alongside the matrix code that you guys can download to add as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, I highly recommend go checking out this Yeet Get Busy Floating Rocks tutorial. It goes over how to add floating rocks to your music videos. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.